A good morning, good morning, and good morning, and welcome once again to our Blackpool Biker. Hope everyone's well. We're on Thursday, it's the 21st, and it's just about 7.30 a.m. Give or take a few minutes. Bit of a blow this morning. Uh, it's a bit windy, actually. I'll rephrase that. Uh, it's, it's just a little bit blowy. Bit windy. Noticeably straight away cold than yesterday. Let's put it that way. It's a bit nippy. Not too bad. Once again, wrap up a bit. It's not three bad. Yeah, it's oh, Thursday. So, tides in as you can tell. It's on its way out. How deep is it? Let's have a look over towards north. Yeah, it's not that bad, is it? Let's tell there at the end of North Pier. Nowhere near the top. I still wouldn't like to be there, though, right now. That would be a bit, shall we say, nippy and wet. <laughs> to say the least, the very least. There you go. Take you round. Yeah, traffic's traffic's starting to get a little bit busier now. Obviously coming up to rush hour. The morning rush hour. So yeah, so let's have a wander down this way. Once again, I've got to go and get bits from the little shop. <laughs> it's, it's always milk in it. No, I've got milk. It's not milk today, honest. Oh, that wind is icy. Oof. As we're just walking south towards north. <laughs> south towards north, beer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely quite a bit cooler than yesterday yeah it was, it was later on yesterday afternoon went to um do a quick video for you for the new tram stop the classners north station tram stop aren't they which is fair enough seeing as though it's at north station just about so i hope that was all right for you didn't get it on till later on to be fair I think it was must have been about half five or so there's not been many views on that one but never mind it was just a quick one for those that what we've got happening now it's always sirens isn't they even at this time in the morning in Blackpool That, was that an old Salika? Used to love Salikas. I don't know if I've told you before. But when I was down in Devon, honestly, if I could get hold of... Uh, you know the problems we've had with cars all the time. I mean, lockdowns and what have you. But the problems we've had with cars, with gremlins, this, that and the other. If I could get, honestly, hold of an old Toyota, I'd get one now. I would. You know, without all the electronic this and electronic that and oh, pollen filters and, uh, you know. But honestly, if I could get hold of an old Toyota Corolla executive, and I've had about four of them in the past, years and years ago, obviously. They're only 1.6. They had electric windows front and back. Electric sunroof. You don't even get sunroofs nowadays. Moonroof, whatever you want to call it. Just a bit of a rant now. Because the newer cars, honestly. What was that one I had on the Peugeot? Uh, pollen or something, or environmental something or other. And it was still doing 60 odd miles to the gallon. But believe it or not, that could be an MOT failure. Because you've got a warning light on. It does put the engine management light on, even though there's nothing wrong with the engine. It, it's just honestly if, if you're older like me and you've had older cars that will run get you to A to B especially after you've had the rubbish with cars lately 
you, you, you would honestly just have an old Toyota yeah and these Corollas are just ran forever I've also had the the GT4 that's the Celica the normal GT 2 litre GT the GT4 was the turbo variant of the Toyota Corolla honestly if I could get hold of a an old Celica, I've had the gunmetal one, colour, silver gunmetal, they called it, with the pop up headlights. You remember them versions of the Celica? And they, they were brilliant, absolutely brilliant cars. I've had loads of them. If I could find one now that's not about 10 grand or something, because you know, women being classics now, they're a fortune, even the Corolla. Executive at one time you could buy them for 300 400 quid and they lasted you a couple of years, you know. What I mean, go through a couple of three MO. Oh, you're right, dog saying hello to me. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> right, anyway. How weird. Surely you'd go round somebody, wouldn't you? Anyway. Look, something's happened, hasn't it? Yeah, so if I could get, honestly, if I could get hold of a, a, a Corolla or something like that, I, I'd have one. Honestly, get your tray to me. Like I say, a lecky everything. You could put, I've done it before. When I was down in Devon, I've told you I worked down in Devon, 3DF and what have you years ago you can put new stereos in them with bluetooth on and that sort of thing you know it's honestly we'll get hold of one of them anyway rent over <laughs> let, let me know what you think though would you have an older car again or do you prefer the sat navs built in this that and the other yeah you've got airbags everywhere where you haven't in the old corollas <laughs> you know it's uh, I don't know, you know, the, the newer cars are obviously smoother, safer, this, that and the other. But there's something to be said for older cars, to be honest with you. They, they had something about them, they weren't just... They were more than the sum of the parts, does that make sense? Let me know what you think. More than the sum of the parts. That's what I think, anyway. Anyway, so, just to give you... You can see what it's like, it's... The, the weather report from Biker, <laughs> it's not too bad. Like I say, 21st, just left 7.30ish, ish. Windy, there's a nip on that wind. Well, it's not windy, windy, it's just, you know, it's breezy. Let's call it breezy. Yeah, call it breezy. We're calling it breezy. So anyway, we'll leave it here. You see what it's like this morning. Don't forget, we only do these because a lot like to see what it's like in Blackpool on the morning. We will be doing other things at the weekend, hopefully, as long as the chest out holds up and what have you. Have so much better now. Feeling better. Thank God. So anyway, we'll leave it here. Most of all, stay safe. You know what it is. Have a cracking day.